Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. Just hopping on here today to talk about and cover some big news coming out of the base scene. We have three legends in Sudden Death, Eptic and Space Laces. They are going to be teaming up as a new trio, a new triumvirate, a new trifecta if you will, also known as Master Hand. Social media was awash with hype yesterday as the three producers shared pictures, promo pictures for the new trio trio there we go gonna look over these in a bit more detail in a bit but yeah this is potentially huge news and for me as I think with most people the first thought that kind of comes to mind is what is this trio gonna sound like how are their different styles gonna work together what kind of music are they gonna make and the thing that I think about most first off when examining this new trio is wondering just what each individual producer is gonna be offering most or contributing most that the other two still might have quite a bit of but maybe not quite as much so with sudden death for me it's the theatricality the drama of his music a big demonic vibe as well that we of course all know him for through sudden death and void with eptic it's a bit more of an electrifying thing with the production how refined it all is very energetic very on its feet very lively and just super well cut when it comes to how everything is arranged and then when it comes to space laces i think his main thing is the texture with the production the sound usage and just giving the music overall that kind of cinematic scenic appeal that again the other two do have but I think it's just another level up when it comes to space lasers so it's going to be quite a concoction quite a blend of different traits and characteristics on a musical front that we are hopefully going to get with this three making music together and obviously as well with all three being good at making drops making ideas constructing and formulating those as well so quite a bit to get excited about but also I think conversely if we're going off the promo here here and the pictures that have been shared it could be the exact opposite of that not exactly music to get kind of hyped and excited about but more just a bit of a meme a bit of a joke I mean we know they all like a bit of a joke they're all funny they're all meme lords at heart so you know conversely like I said this could end up being more of a funny thing than a serious thing because again the promotion pictures suggest as much it could just be more of a meme -y situation the superstar DJ boy band fantasy takes the internet by storm and even the posing that they're doing here is uh, very suggestive of something more meme -y and uh, less serious than we might have first thought. The father, the son and the holy spirit looking like some guys that are going to fucking come and knock on your door and uh, tell you all about Jesus and whatnot. Uh, yeah, very, uh, very clever kind of marketing that we've got going on here. This one, I mean, they've still got the crosses. So uh, continuing that um, religious, uh, Christian, evangelical kind of theme, if you will. These guys aren't here to play music. They're here to tell you about God. And then the final one here. I mean, uh, the jig is up, as Eptic says. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm analysing this quite a bit, but I think you get what I'm trying to say here. You know, we have this assumption that it's all going to be really serious, great, you know, huge, grand music, but it, it could be a bit of a Lumpur Skitty situation whereby you just have to follow the clues. You look at the marketing, you look at the promo, and all you can deduce, really, is that it's going to be more of a meme than something serious. However, what I would say is that in this scene, when it comes to promoting serious music that kind of comes out of nowhere with a name that's already garnered quite a bit of hype. I think anonymity is the way forward. I think that's how you create a bit of mystery. Who is it? Who could this producer be with this uh, big name already putting out sick music or whatever it is? Just look at YVM3 as quite a recent example. But what these guys have realised here is that the best way of selling it is by you know using themselves, using their own names, their own image to kind of promote this new trio. But uh, at the same time they've realized that yeah you know it's not going to be completely serious because at heart we are all jokers so we have to make it a bit of a jokey thing a bit of a meme -y thing just kind of make more of a light-hearted thing of it make it fun bring people in that way they're very aware that their names are what is going to sell this thing and they're completely right i mean the hype for it is already huge the first show the debut master hand show is i think going to be at the summoning in october which is sudden death festival and when that poster came out when the lineup came 
came out, there were quite a few people just a bit confused as to who's Master Hand, why has Master Hand got such a kind of big space on this lineup? And then you had a couple of people beyond that saying, I think it might be Sudden Death and Rez, a new duo between them, which obviously would be a fantastic coupling and uh, interested to see if that happens further down the line. But as we can see now, it is clearly quite a different thing that Master Hand is. But here we have the most exciting part. So you could have had all this promo being shared, you know, a new big name, all these big producers working together without any real knowledge of kind of what they're working on or what they're planning to do. But here, Eptic says, what if we all went into the studio and made like 15 songs? Oh wait, we did. 15 tracks written together by these three. I mean, even if it was five or six, like an EP, that'd be fucking incredible. But this is like a whole album's worth of stuff that we're getting here. And I imagine just to kind of keep hype going until that first show, that debut show, there might be a couple of singles, maybe one or two that are dropped before that show, just to keep that hype going so that we don't have a situation where you've got all this hype and the promo images and all that kind of thing. And then it just kind of dies down without any more continuation basically of what they've established so far in the last uh, day or half a day or so so they're gonna be keeping that going hopefully with a couple of singles maybe or maybe even one before that debut show just to kind of announce master hand and show people what it's about to give them an idea before that first show comes around for me personally as usual when it comes to the news of any kind of big release whether it's an ep or an album from a massive artist i am trying to temper my expectations a little bit i know that we've got three kind of masterminds working together here and joining forces but it is difficult making good music it is just a very hard thing to do and in particular I think more so when you have three people working on every single detail within every single track that's a lot of conflicting ideals I think when working towards something someone might have a good idea the other two might not like it and it's just a continuous thing of ideas being sacrificed and kind of worked with basically before we get too excited we could have a situation here where where styles or aesthetics clash and it doesn't quite work and I'm sure that will be the case for a couple of tracks here so basically all I'm trying to say is I've been in that situation before where I've worked with other people and it's just been quite difficult getting down a solid idea that everyone agrees on and then like I said you've got to work on all the details within that track so don't set your expectations too high like this could be great music but these guys are human they're all working together on one thing don't go into it I wouldn't say just expecting the most incredible music you've ever heard just like appreciate the fact that these guys are working together I suppose and go from there but then yeah this could be huge and I think I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little bit excited it's a little bit more than that just thinking about how these styles will work together uh, given as well how much music they've worked on here how much they are due to release and you know looking at the promo the mix of funny and hype that we're getting here it's it, it's all looking pretty good before anything is dropped I'll, I'll say that not easy I can imagine to fit this in within the intense schedules they've got individually so they clearly love working together and there's clearly a lot of chemistry both behind the scenes and when it comes to making music so yeah yeah, now all that's left is for us to enjoy this trio, the fact that it's a thing, the music when it comes out, and just see what it's all about as stuff gets rolled out more and more over the coming weeks and months or so. Yeah, sudden death, eptic, space laces as master hand. Let's fucking go. But yeah, gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Now I wanna pass it off to you guys. Are there any bits of info that I missed out? A couple of details here and there that I wasn't able to include in this video? Let me know below. Also, let me know what your expectations of Master Hand are. What do you think it's gonna sound like? Is it gonna be serious? Is it gonna be a bit more meme -y? I wanna hear all your thoughts on this new trio, Triumvirate in the comment section down below, drop them right there. Also below in the description, you've got my social media accounts and my Patreon if you wanna load more exclusive content for a small monthly fee. Helps keep the channel going and you get all that content as well as what we do here on the main channel. Just last week, started a new series on the Patreon where I'm gonna be covering all the big name singles from a given week. Kicked off that series last week at the end of last week with the new Skrillex collaboration with Peekaboo, G-Rex and Flo Dan. There was the Must Die, the Maraud, uh, the Riot as well. A couple others to go with that. So yeah, going to be doing that every week, covering the big name singles. If that's something you're interested in, please do go and check it out. I would massively appreciate it. But beyond that, thank you again very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I shall see all of you in the next one, whatever that might be. Keep it naughty until then. Peace.